Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at AUVSI Exponential 2016. Click subscribe to keep up with our latest coverage from the show. And I'm talking to Brian Chicone from AE. How are you doing, Brian? I'm doing great, Pack. Nice to see you again. Love to show off some of our new stuff. So speaking of new stuff, we caught up with you guys at CES, and you had a sweet-looking new little camera ship there called the A20, which I understand has now been rechristened the Condor. But we're here to talk to you not about your little ships, but your big ships, including this monster quad for law enforcement. Now, this will fly in all weather, right? Yeah, this is the AEE F100 drone. It's an all-weather drone, and its key feature is really that its ability to withstand all types of inclement weather. Weather resistance, wind resistance up to 35 miles per hour, where drones typically can't fly above 20 miles per hour or gust. It could take heavy monsoon storms. And there's videos on YouTube where it's, it's got a level three thunderstorms with big uh, drops of water and it's able to fly because it's got very big props, 28 inch props. The motor itself, very big KV motors, uh, be like almost a half a horsepower each. And then the battery itself is a huge 20,000 milliamps custom carbon fiber um, to withstand sub-zero temperatures and that allows for 45 minutes of flight time. Those are great stats, but I want people to physically see this battery. This thing is a monster. 20,000 milliamp hours and it's in this custom carbon fiber. LiPo batteries will lose a lot of potential in the cold, but you've beat that. We're one of the very few manufacturers that do this enclosure in carbon fiber and that allows it to insulate against the sub-zero temperature. You know, sub-zero temperatures aren't a problem with this drone itself. And you've got an interesting looking camera gimbal on the front of this. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, it's a dual camera setup. It basically has the workaround from an optical zoom camera, which is hard to do on a three-axis gimbal. So what we did was we put two cameras into one, a wide-angle camera for a nice wide-angle shots of taking everything, and then a zoom camera that's up to four times optical. So on the fly, with the dual camera setup, you can go to wide-angle to zoom immediately without any latency of, of a delay. Not only that, but you can actually change that out for a thermal sensor camera and do a wide to thermal sensor sensor or an optical zoom because it's got the two bays on it which makes it really diversified for any type of need that you need. And it looks like this collapses down? Yes, right now this version right here is going to be on a hinge so it's basically going to collapse into it so it's all together and you just got to roll it back it connects it back on so it makes it much more smaller of a footprint than the way it is now. It'll fit in a nice uh, size Pelican case that's able to be put in any car really. So. Fantastic. All right well Brian thank you so much for giving us an update on your product here. It looks cool. I wish there was one in my future. <laughs> uh, we'll send you one tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and from AUVSI Exponential 2016 in New Orleans, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, Frank.